Telcoin. So Telcoin is a way for moving cash around. It's uh, it's also got within their app and stuff the opportunity for swaps and DeFi. This isn't actually a bad project at all. Um, and it ran really, really well in the last bull cycle. Like people who got in early on Telcoin made a lot of cash. Now I'm not expecting Telcoin to break its previous all time high personally. And I'll explain exactly why I think that in this video. Um, but before I get into it, guys, if you're new here and you don't know what the spreadsheet is, these are the first 26 coins that I did videos about on the channel. And in the videos, I showed myself buying up all of these coins. I expected they were going to make me a lot of cash. Um, and you can see what they were all worth when I recorded and released the vids. And you can also see the highs that all these coins hit in under a year and a half, as well as what your profit would have been um, if you'd have put $100 into each of these coins when I released the vids and sold them after about 16 months. If you'd have done that for all the coins, your total profit from 100 into each would have been over 123 grand, which is not too bad. Now, I sold these, but I share the coins that I'm in on my website, which is copymycrypto.com. So when I find a coin that I think is going to make me a lot of money, again, I jump onto the site, tell my members about uh, the coin that I'm buying, the profits it can have, and the money I'm putting in. They can copy along exactly, so they make the same money as me. Uh, if you want to see what they've made, that's on the site, along with things I've said in the past, like the course that I did about Phantom in 2020, uh, when no one was talking about Phantom. Or... You know, if you just want to see what the generally the things I've said in the past about crappy DeFi projects, all of its public record, you can verify it all on this channel. Uh, the Bitcoin halving is going to be on the 20th of April. If you don't have your portfolio sorted by then, you're going to regret it because you're going to have missed out on a lot of profits that you could have made. Um, so check out copymycrypto.com because it can help you with that. Right, Telcoin. So uh, Telcoin's been around a while. Um, I don't know why the chart's glitching so much though. That's weird. I did click all, right? There you go. All. Fine. Okay. That's very odd. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, so Telcoin um, is currently on KuCoin, QuickSwap, Balancer, Uniswap, one inch. Uh, it probably is on more, I would have thought. Maybe not. Bing X, yeah, buy a bit. Um, so Telcoin, the, the coin itself is uh, used for transactions on the, the network. Uh, it's the reserve asset, it's the protocol token for the decentralized platform. Uh, end users can basically access all their, their global suite um, and play around with the financial products. The tell incentives uh, are provided that coordinate market participants with uh, telecom and active users. And effectively, this is trying to provide a fast and affordable opportunity for, uh, for users to play around with the financial products, as well as literally move more money around. Like they talk about remittances a lot within uh, the platform. Uh, it's based out of Singapore and leverages blockchain tech. They are... Um, the the actual telcoin platform uh, is powered by telcoin users, mobile network operators, mobile financial service providers, uh, which are all aligned in a decentralized platform. Now they actually launched version three of the platform, uh, which introduced uh, two user owned financial products, including the Send Money Smarter Network, which is a user owned global remittance network and a user as well and they've got tel exchange which is a user owned decentralized asset exchange now one like issue i have here is this send money smarter idea now look if they're going to they are going to save you money by sending cash around there is no question of that like here's the comparisons average cost of spent sending uh, 200 bucks to mobile wallets uh, via Remitly is $8, via Western Union is 11 via Zoom is 11 via World Remit is 11 Telcoin only costs $2.40. So huge, huge, huge improvement. However, there are so many goddamn ways to send money in this world now. PayPal. PayPal. 
People just use, people use what they're familiar with. There are going to be very, very, very few uh, people that are going to be like shopping around to try and save two or three dollars here and there. There'll be, there'll be enough, but overall, that number's just simply not going to be that high. So this, while hugely beneficial to plenty of people that need to save five, six bucks every, you know, especially if they're sending money multiple times a week, isn't the big selling point here. Like this isn't the reason that people are going to join Telcoin. Um, and that's kind of my concern is that, that that's the big sort of pitch here for Telcoin is send the money smarter. Um, I actually think that the way that they should be going about this is to go harder into the digital asset exchange realm where people can just swap coins. Because the thing is, right now, telecoin remittances, yeah, they, you know, the dollar, the price is $2.40 to, to utilize the service. But if you're sending um, money, if you're using Telcoin, in theory, right, you are crypto-ish savvy. This is not so much a crypto thing, but it's savvy-ish, right? So then why wouldn't you send USDT to someone via the Tron network and it will only cost you a dollar? Why wouldn't you say send Nano or, and it will cost you nothing? And I don't think the big pitch should be saving a bit of cash on um, on sending money. I simply don't. I think that I think the the big pitch should be the digital asset realm. The big pitch should be this is something everyone can use because this is built and made and ready for phones. If you have a phone, you can use Telcoin. Here's our wallet. Here's our digital asset exchange. Here's where we can go with this. The problem is, is it's very hard at this point because we're so inundated with cryptos. We've got like 2 million of them. It's very hard to differentiate yourself from one another. So I kind of get why they've approached it from that sort of remittances approach. It just doesn't really appeal. Now, and that's it. Like that, that was part of the reason that I was not, I didn't... I'm, that I'm not bullish on coins like Nano and Dash right now is because the movement of money in the crypto space is not as big a thing as it once was. Like the, It used to be that there was an enormous narrative around moving money because back in 2017, we didn't have many blockchains. So networks got and we didn't have layering solutions so networks got congested so people would buy dash we you know if ethereum was backed up i'd buy i'd sell my ethereum for dash so i could move money whereas now we have 58,000 million you know stupid amounts of networks that are speedy and fast so from a remittances approach, I just that's what I mean. I'm not a huge fan because there are if you're crip, if you're even a little bit crypto savvy, you can save money. You can basically get your money down to nil in terms of sending money around. Um, this obviously is not completely crypto savvy because you can actually just do a direct uh, send of cash. You know, I send a hundred US dollars to the Philippines, and that person will receive five hundred. 5,625 of whatever currency that is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just, I don't see the, I don't see the appeal at the moment. Um, but look, the, the CEO, the COO Rajesh Sabari took to the stage uh, at a conference recently talking about this space. Um, there's potentially growth here. I just think nothing compared to what it has been. Um, I don't know why the chart's been weird. All-time high of Telcoin was six and a half cents. I don't think we're getting close to that this time. That that does put it. That would put it a market cap of over five billion dollars. I just don't think that's reflective of what this pro 
product is right now. I think three cents is probably the peak of where I would go. It's about half of what it hit, of what its all-time high was in the last bull cycle. If it does hit three cents, that's still seven and a half x from where it is right now. That's not bad, but as of right now, I just can't see a world where we're gonna where remit like the Bitcoin space, the crypto space. Sorry, not Bitcoin space. We've got two point two million cryptos. The narratives at the moment that are hot are deep in the narrative. Um, GameFi, DeFi, Solana's overall ecosystem. Um, there are there are tons of narratives that are exciting right now within the crypto space, and not one of them is how to move money around. Which is why I'm just hesitant that this is going to do much more. You know, it depends. The the one thing that they have to do if they're going to have success, they've got to onboard massive amounts of users. That's their job. So how they advertise, how they market, and how they bring millions of people to use Telcoin's app, that's their job. And if, they, if we see surges in growth on the Telcoin app, then of course this, is gonna, this can break a new all-time high. But right now, I just don't see enough of a narrative around this to suggest we're going to have that. Hence the three cents. But let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. If you've used Telcoin to send money around, how did you find it? Was it better than using a PayPal or uh, any other sort of money mover around? Let me know in the comments down below. And guys, if you want to make the same profits as me in this bull cycle, you can do. All you have to do is head over to copymycrypto.com. That is the site I run where I share with my members the coins that I own. Anytime I find a crypto that is going to make me a lot of money, I jump onto my site. I tell my members about the coin that I'm going to buy the profits it can have, the percentage of my money I'm going to put in, and the members copy along exactly, which means they make the same profits as me. But the added bonus is obviously they don't do any work, which is why we have thousands and thousands of members on the site. And again, if you want to see what the members have earned, go to the site, check it out now. There's a link in the description. If you want to see what I've said in the past, go to the site, check it out. And everything on the site is public record on this channel, so you can verify it all. Um, we are three weeks or so away from the Bitcoin halving after that. You know, it's always traditionally been the biggest catalyst for the market moving. And if you're not happy with your portfolio right now, then have a look at copymycrypto.com because it can help you get that sorted. And that is it for me, guys. Have a good day. Bye-bye.